what's happening everybody i skipped over a couple of videos and that's because i've been really busy lately uh i figured i'd just pick up where uh tight moon games left off which is recently red arcade versus coma uh, i've been waiting for some coma gameplay he looks really cool i can't wait to color customize him the black is a bit bland but you know his outfit overall is pretty cool but you know i'm really more interested in gameplay i thought that the red Arcade gameplay was a little bit eh, but the trailer wasn't all of that uh, There's a couple of things I was concerned about she's red Arcade and Most of her moves leave blue trails, which is sort of weird that your character is called red Arcade. You know, I understand why it's red Arcade is because this is a different personality from regular Arcade or Arcade vanilla whatever they're calling her and whatever but still Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the gameplay. Let's go. Let me uh, turn this down. Here we go. Koma looks like an absolute unit, man. It's cool that they included his coat in the uh, in the intro. Mm -hmm. I bet PC modders are gonna find a way to keep that in there. Man, Arcade moves real fast. Red Arcade does at least. Hold on a second. Let's go back here. That wasn't a, uh. That was not a moon skill. I'm not familiar with Red Arcade. I've been playing a little bit of Coma uh, whenever I play Melty Blood just to see, you know, if there's something interesting behind him. Don't really like him too much in the older game, but he looks really interesting here. Yeah, she just. Two projectiles, and then she just uh, goes in a moon drive. Okay. I just want to say, Red Arcway looks better than Arcway in every facet. I think she has a DP as well, and she has that uh, projectile in the air. This music, by the way, if you can still hear it, it's great, isn't it? This is my favorite track so far. Oh yeah. She got got. That's the coolest looking arc drive. Yeah, it looks like definitely if you want to zone her character, zoning and rush down, you would pick red arcade. I, I don't I can't fathom a reason you'd pick vanilla arcade for any reason. But Koma, man, look at him. That command grab, super strong. He's moving pretty fast across the screen. I think he's pretty slow in the older games, right? He carries a lot of presence. My buddy actually sent this to me. Oh, well. So she has a teleport. I should be doing this with Anaya, but Anaya's not in the game. Did that go back too far? Nah, I think we're right here. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, she has a DP. And she can do double fireball in the air? Look at that. Yeah, we totally didn't go to the part I wanted to go to, though. Let's, let's try going back some more. What the fuck? When this thing is full screen on a TV, it just fucks up. Sorry. Where is it? I want to go through the whole fucking video. This part. Yeah, that's dope. And she teleported right in front of him. That was sick. Alright. The double fireball in the air, man. That's dope. The recovery doesn't seem too bad on it. I think they're censoring all of our blood moves, possibly, but that wouldn't make any sense because Carmine's moves aren't censored. So, like, look, there's a little bit of blood, but then it turns into dust. A little bit of blood, dust. A little bit of blood and some dust. Or maybe they're geysers. I don't know. I will say this, that skirt actually does look better. I was thinking, man, you know what, the new skirt looks better, but nah, this skirt is, uh, 
it's more character defining. People were right about that. The command grab. That's a quick command grab. This I like. So I didn't understand how this worked in the old game uh, when I watched gameplay. But when Koma does this super um, or EX attack, this is 2-2-C it looks to be. Looks to have some sort of OTG properties. I don't know if you could dash afterwards or not because his regular 2-2 AB looks like you can dash afterwards. So he has armor on now, which is crazy. Well, you guys can see that armor. One, two. Uh, actually, it looks like he has a third hit of armor. I don't know how many hits of armor he gets off of that, but that's insane. You know, it's not insane. It's good because he looks to be a bit slower than everyone else, but still. Pretty good. Arcwade, again, why would you pick Vanilla Arc? And she has the grab in the corner that you can combo off of, just like Ark. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why you picked the other one. I'm um, sorry I keep saying that, but geez. Got armor on that DP. Oh, that's dope. If you're looking for a grappler, this is the guy, evidently. Um, he has those command grabs, and, you know, you can position the enemy any way you want. Spin bar. Throw him across the screen with a good chunk of health. You can throw him behind you as demonstrated earlier in the match. Um, this is what I want. DNF Duel, the grappler. I want him to fight like Koma. I want a lot of cool physical attacks and I want some command grabs, of course. You know. Man, I can't stop watching it. I've watched this like 10... I've watched this more than I've watched my mains video. You know, with uh, Shiki. Yes, sir. -y. But that's all I got to say about that for now. Um, if you like this type of content, I will be making some Melty Blood videos when the game comes out. Probably gonna do a Tono Shiki tutorial, I guess. Maybe a Tono Shiki for dummies. I'm not the best tutorial person, but I do know how to make a video giving you an outline of a character. And I love to do it for Tiki. Uh, Tiki. Tiki Shono. Shono. Shiki Tono, goddammit. Um, anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and holler at me later.